Hey guys, my name is Vigneshwaran and I am a student of Banaraman Institute of Technology. In this video, we are going to see about CPR feedback device monitoring system using uh, Arduino Tinkercad. First of all, you have to know what is CPR. CPR is a critical life saving skill that requires a practice to perfect. This Tinkercad project adds real, real time feedback to CPR management and it includes a depth and chest recoil indicator as well as uh, a CPR cycle. The, the feedback uh, offered in this project can aid in the learning process. While such devices can bought in stores, this project aims to reduce the cost involved. Reduce the cost involved. It is it uses a simple component such as LEDs, uh, LCD screens uh, for visual feedback. These as well as uh, the other components are uh, connected together with a breadboard, a resistor, and inexpensive jumper wires. Finally, the brain of the project is an Arduino Yellow. When the chest is pushed to the correct depth required, uh, the push button is activated and the LED turns green. On the other hand, if the correct depth is not reached, the LED turns red instead. Here I show you a stimulation process of this project. Here I can show you. If I click the start stimulation button, see here the LED will uh, show start CPR process and the green light will uh, glow and I have to push the button like uh, you you can uh, imagine it's like a chest muscle okay if I, uh, if I not give the correct amount of pressure it will automatically not count any pressure and we have to give correct amount of pressure and uh, correct amount of pressure to the button chest muscle is being pushed to the correct depth it will count one like this here the LEDs are connected to the button the chest is being pushed down to the correct depth it activates uh, the button and the green LED like this and we have to if they do not push hard the depressed light is activated the, if they do not push hard enough the button is not depressed and the red light is activated like I have show you the red, uh, how the red light is activated but we have to reduce the pressure I am right so we have to reduce the pressure it will automatically the red light will on here you can see the red light will on here so the patient so the patient will uh, so the treatment processor will uh, treat the process uh, like the green LED with close uh, by seeing this uh, uh, how to treat a person the CPR uh, process and this is the actual demonstration and we can also increase our count like we have to long press this button uh, and we have to reduce the pressure that it automatically translates that's red. So we have to stop. Uh, we have to push hard to the patient. We have to push hard to the patient, and we have to push hard enough on the depth. It will automatically indicate uh, turns green. So that's why you have to understand how much amount of pressure and uh, depth we have to give to the patient. So that's all object. So thanks for watching this video.